Okay, let's fill out this concept map and see how you did. Let's start with the personal DNA sample, which can be used for genome sampling and comparison. We learned how to acquire this personal DNA sample in lesson seven. And what we're gonna be doing is genome sampling and comparing individual SNVs. Now an IBS score or identity by state is a score based on individual comparisons of individual SNVs. This indicates a genetic identity, which we have greater than 70% of for all SNV matches in humans. Remember that you share at least 70% IBS with even the most distantly related human on the planet. This is a rough approximation. Now another kind of scoring involves IBD, or identity by descent, which scores based on segments of chromosome sharing individual SNVs. And this indicates genetic relatedness, which can reduce to about 1% for third cousins and beyond. Now altogether, the SNVs that we measure are located on the Y chromosome, which can be used to trace the paternal lineage, the mitochondrial chromosome, which is used to trace the maternal line, and autosomes in the X chromosome, which all together can be used to trace close and distant family relations. Putting all of this information together, we've learned that it indicates a human origin out of Africa, with each expansion experiencing genetic bottlenecks, specifically referred to as a founder effect, but we learned about these bottlenecks more in lesson six.